Hello, I'm Lauren, that Aqua Plant Girl. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you guys. Thank you guys for popping in. I recently watched an Exo McKenna video, and if you do not follow her, you definitely should. She is an amazing human being that has gone from just being in creative art school to being able to build everything. She refurbished her own house. She's bought multiple houses. She's fixing them up. She's got a lot of old houses going on, and she's a very creative person. She's also very organized and very on top of it and very inspirational. One of her most recent videos that I watched was very inspiring to me. She went through her house and checked off all of these different areas and listed everything that she needed to do in her different zones so that way she could figure out exactly what she needed to be doing. And she took us through this step by step. And my whole thing with this plant room is I have so many plants that I get very overwhelmed. I get a lot of projects in my head that I want to do and then I can't get them all done or I forget one. And I have ADHD so I'll start one and then I won't necessarily finish it before I'm excited and starting another one. So today I kind of want to take you guys around my plant room and together we can determine which plants need what. We'll come up with a list and then we'll make videos and we'll do them together over the next couple of months and that'll kind of give us a little bit of inspiration and then you guys will get a little bit of a tour of my plant collection as well. Maybe this will inspire you to do the same thing for your plants and just kind of get in the spring mode and get in the to-do list mode. And instead of being so overwhelmed by all the things that we have to do, we'll just have a nice little list. We'll just go down and we'll do things together. Sounds like a plan? Let's get started. All right, so over here I have these beautiful alocasia. I absolutely love them. You watched me plant them up not too long ago, maybe a couple months ago now, and they've all gone completely crazy. Um, I also have this beautiful maranta back here. Basically, this Maranta is doing really well, but it's taking up space for other alocasia that I need because I need to clean up that tank over there and I need to make more room for the alocasia over here. I also need to replace this because it's starting to kind of bend out. So I need to get this area cleaned up again. And then this beautiful tree is doing really, really well. So it can stay here. This is Fabio. He got moved upstairs because the bathroom is a little chilly in the winter time and it's warmer up here and he needed some better light. So this light's really helping Fabio out. And then over here, I have philodendron burly marks that needs to be chopped back. It's gone crazy. I have a beautiful philodendron painted lady over here that needs to go on a better pole. And then my philodendron birkin is starting to get smaller. It needs a repot. It's definitely root bound in there. This pothos up here has just gone so freaking crazy. It's lost its variegation, unfortunately. Um, and it's just turned all green, which is perfectly fine. I'm not worried about that. The leaves have gotten huge, but it's outgrown the entire pole it was on. I think it needs to be chopped and propped and we need to restart it. So we need to chop and propagate that whole thing. There's a philodendron silver sword back here that needs to be chopped and propped. We have a syngonium over here that needs to be chopped and propped. And um, unfortunately, this mandula pothos has gotten so big, so beautiful, and it's at the very top of this board. I really don't want to have to chop and prop. I think what I'm going to end up doing with that one is air layering it and then I will chop and prop from there. I don't want to risk the leaves sizing down again. I'm trying to get them as full and mature as possible. I have this philodendron burly marks variegata um, that has completely reverted and is growing super crazily and just needs to be propagated. I've gotta get that taken care of. I have alocasia seedlings over here that are in stratum. The little beautiful propagated ones here which are so cool, but they all have two leaves now and they need their own pots. So I need to do that. I have, there is a Monstera Peru over here, also known as a Monstera Kirstaniana or something along those lines. It starts with a K. Um, that is vining all over the place over here. I think I want to give it something to climb. I think I'm gonna propagate that and give it something to climb. So I will have two plants and then we'll go from there. There's also like a lot that needs to be cleaned up this entire area. I have an entire shelf full of propagations over here that need to be potted up. They are growing like crazy. In this jar right here, we have a Calathea orbifolia that's grown like crazy. And then I have Monstera seedlings that have grown that are outgrowing this 
beautiful little jar here. They've been in high humidity this whole time, so they need to be potted up. Um, these are the ones that I grew in sphagnum moss. And then I also have two alocasia polypropagations in there, um, a butt cut and a regular alocasia, like a regular corm that I grew. So that needs to be potted up as well. <sighs> what else do I have over here? I don't know. I think the philodendron, the Hartley philodendron is okay over here, but I do need, oh my gosh, I've got to do something with the string of needles over here, the Serapagia string of needles. It's outgrown the entire pot. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I can hang it. We'll have to come up with something. This entire area over here needs to be redone. I've got propagations that need to be potted up in here. I definitely need to make more propagations to go in these when I take those out. I have cuttings over here, multiple places that need to be rooted. This whole little terrarium situation at least needs to be fertilized. It hasn't even been fertilized. The calicasia, oh, I'm sorry, not calicasia. The, the coleus that's here, I grew from seed uh, last year and I've just left it in the jar and it has grown up and it's <laughs> really loving the window. It's so beautiful, such a beautiful plant but it definitely needs to be potted up at the very least, if not propagated and potted up. This terrarium over here needs a trim. All my terrariums need a trim. I have Monstera adansonii over here that I rescued and I broke up into two separate pots and I repotted and it's looking really good. Really, really good. It's, they're both growing prolifically. I want one to climb and I want the other one to trail. So I need to start training the climbing one and I need to find a better potting situation for the one that I want to trail. So that's kind of what we have going on over here. I have this little cheese ball container, uh, no lid, and it's got a spider plant in it and then it's got some Vitonia plants in it just going crazy. It's really cool. So definitely, I don't know what, what I want to do with that. It can't stay on the floor though and I've got to clean up this mess and put all of these plant pots back under here and organize them slightly. Um, so basically everything's just overgrown and grown wild and needs to be cleaned up. So that's where we are with that. So over here is my backdrop, which you guys see quite a bit, um, but you don't see everything. And when you see all the plants lumped together, it kind of hides a lot of the mistakes and the issues that I have, honestly. Um, like, for example, I have a fern back here that just dries out way too much. I need a better potting situation. It's also outgrown this area. Um, so I need to find a better situation for it where it's going to get good light, still be moisture retentive, and have more room to grow. Um, it's an asparagus fern. And then this, uh, and then this philodendron Brazil, I would love to get a cutting to climb. This is also very thirsty and needs a complete and total repot. This is a Hoya Crimson Princess and it needs a better watering situation as well because it's just kind of in this big pot here. And actually, you know what? Maybe it's doing okay. Maybe it's just bounced back. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that one. That one's okay. I got this super cute pot as a gift and it's really, really cute. I love it. I just don't know what to put in it. So I want to put something in this. We need to do that. Um, all of the top plants need water like crazy. Um, so this Skindapsis argyreus gets really thirsty and has fallen over multiple times. So it needs a complete repot and it needs to actually be in a better pot so that it can trail. Um, I've taken so many cuttings from it over the years that it's just kind of all tangled up. I don't even know what's going on with it. Um, and the leaves are starting to get smaller and smaller and it's literally growing back up into itself. Like this is, this is a straight up loop. Like I don't even know. So there is that. There are begonia maculata cuttings not doing so hot over here. I want to chop and prop and use them in stratum. So definitely got to do that. This is Skindapsis trubia moonlight. Emily, you totally asked me what this was in the last video. This is just your standard moonlight. I wish it was a dark form. That would be so cool if it was a dark form. Unfortunately, it's just a regular Skindapsis trubia moonlight. It's still one of my absolute favorite plants. It definitely needs a fertilizer and a repot though. 
it sits here all the time. So it gets lots of light, lots of love. It grows a lot and I'm just not keeping up with that. Um, global green under here as well needs a repot. This is, this is actually doing pretty good. It's completely grown even more, even though it's been dumped more times. This just needs to be backfilled. Um, this is as easy this is a ZZ Chameleon I got for $4 last summer. I've taken multiple propagations and it's been dumped twice and it's still growing prolifically. So it's it's really awesome, actually. Highly recommend that plant if you don't have it. I've got a Diffenbachia down there. I've got a Pothos that needs to be cut. It went up the pole. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just give it another pole. It was sizing up really nicely. So maybe it just needs a better pole. I still have this mystery. Philodendron over here, which I really love. Um, it's growing very prolifically. It just takes up a lot of space. I got it as a rescue for like a couple of dollars. Um, it had some fungal issues. I chopped off a bunch of leaves and it's produced a whole bunch of new ones. Not really sure what kind it is, but it's working. It's growing. This one, oh my gosh, <laughs> this beast, this monstrosity is a Tradescantia purple heart, but it's lost most of the purple because it wasn't getting a lot of light. It's going to purple up as the springtime comes. So I wanna make sure that I give it a good soak and I want to make sure that I fertilize it because it's grown so prolifically. It also needs a bit of a trim. So we need to get that taken care of. This is like the begonia vine plant. I can't remember its name off the top of my head, but it does not like to go without water. And I keep forgetting it to water it up there and it likes higher humidity and it's very dry up there. So it's not doing so good. It's also attached to this little terrarium thing that I wanna work on. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. Maybe a string of something. So all that is a mess. These need an up pot and a fertilizer. These uh, string of arrows, uh, Serapegia, string of daggers and string of arrows. I need to actually pot up this anthurium that I have back here. Um, I've got a bunch of thirsty plants that need repots on this whole thing because they've grown like crazy. I want to chop and prop this syngonium back here in the corner and maybe redo this whole corner area. Up here is your standard golden pothos. It has grown so crazily, so crazily. It definitely needs a fertilizer. So I've got to get that taken care of. Um, we need a better watering situation for this beautiful Tradescantia. It is thriving, it's doing an amazing job. It's just not going to have a lot of space come springtime. So I need to fertilize it, maybe give it an up pot, give it a different watering system. It's gonna dry out too much this summer, I know it. And then I've got my variegated lipstick plant back here, which is already popping off. Um, it also needs a fertilizer and a different watering system because this just isn't doing it. It's just not holding on enough water. So need to get that fixed. So definitely a lot of Hoya that need to be repotted. Um, and then ones that need new trellises and whatnot. And then I do want to chop and prop all of my string of things because they are growing prolifically and they're doing an amazing job, but they definitely need a little bit more love. And then these Tradescantia are beautiful, but they need chopping and propping as well. And hopefully that'll cause more to grow from the base. Now is the time to chop and prop. Up here, you might've noticed I'm letting it trail. I'm letting the whole, the whole Hoya Pubicalyx just trail. It's taking over everything. And it starts here at the base. So I want to repot it somehow without actually taking it off the wall. Um, which is going to be interesting. And there's also a couple more Tradescantia there, the Dragon's Tail Tradescantia and the Tradescantia Silamontana that are going to need um, some extra propagation, chop and propping, and just pruning in general. You can see that the Silamontana has a lot of dead leaves at the top, at the base. That's just how it goes sometimes, especially with those ones. They need a lot of light and I just don't get it in the wintertime. All right, so I don't know how like backlit and weird this is, um, but I have a Hoya that needs to be propped like crazy over here because it won't stop growing and there's just so much of it. I've got cuttings that need to be repotted back here in the window. I have this Monstera that's actually started to give fenestrations. Um, it's pushing out more and more leaves, but it's in a little terracotta pot that is completely outgrown. It needs a repot and a heavy fertilization. It hasn't been fertilized. I have this Raphidophora tetrasperma that has completely outgrown its board, but it's attached and I'm really sad that I have to 
chop and prop it. Maybe I will um, air layer that and try to get that taken care of. Mikans, I have somebody that's gonna take some Mikings cuttings from me, which thank goodness, because I really need an excuse to chop all of this up. So we're gonna be doing that really soon, actually. And then this big Monstera that I grew from the little teeny tiny one, actually, is producing leaves like crazy and is probably gonna need a, a repot in the next month or so because it's gonna be outgrown this pole completely. Um, it's got maybe four or five leaves worth left on this and the rate it's growing, especially with spring and summer and the light that's gonna be coming in, I'm not gonna have any time to be doing anything. And I don't want to chop and prop it. I want to just get it a new pole and let it grow up to be the beautiful monster that it is. So that's the plan with that. And then we've got Mykins and the Raphidophora tetrasperma. I need your advice actually though, because here at the base of this Raphidophora, it has branched off completely. So do I chop and prop that? Or do I just kind of leave it there and try to train it to go up as well? What do you think I should do with that? I need some help with that. Um, I'm just, I feel really bad chopping it because it's tried so hard to grow and the leaves are so cute. I have this Maranta that is growing really well. I just need better light and then it needs a fertilizer in a very deep water. I have not done a whole deep watering on it. So that needs to be taken care of. I don't even know if there is a good way to get all of these tanks in. I still have the propagation set up that I wanna do up here uh, with stratum. I have a bunch of begonia in here. This whole tank needs to be cleaned out. A lot of the begonia from the other tank ended up here. So there's a lot of different kinds of begonia in here that I need to clean and chop and prop. I'm gonna put some in here for sure. This empty tank down here, I'm gonna fill with stratum and then I'm gonna take propagations from just about everywhere else and put it in there. This tank is completely overgrown and needs another trim. It'll probably be the last one I do, even though it needs it the most. I did that one the most recently for you guys. So in order to keep you guys not super bored, <laughs> um, might just wait on that one. There's a whole bunch of different plants in this one. I have like a philodendron summer glory in here. I have, um, Oh shoot, the philodendron mommies in here. I have a philodendron caramel in here. Not like a caramel marble, but like, um, oh shoot, I don't remember what it's called. There's a philodendron glorious in here. There's just, I have my anthurium seedlings in there that I grew from little tiny seeds. They have now multiple leaves. They're basically little anthurium plants still chilling in the same pot. Like this whole thing is everything that needs to be repotted. We'll probably do just one YouTube video on this tank alone, getting this taken care of. This is my beautiful Peperomia tank. The only thing not Peperomia in here is this Ludicea discolor in the corner. I try to plant a Ludicea in every single one of my terrariums somewhere. So it's kind of like, my unintentional signature. I just really like them. Um, and then this one is everything that used to be in my greenhouse and my greenhouse just wasn't getting enough light. So I put it over here so it could get a lot of light. I'm growing peperomia in stratum and they're taking off like crazy, which is why I want to take most of the peperomia cuttings from this one and put it in here. And then I can have a whole bunch of peperomia to share with you guys, which I'm really excited about. I don't know if you can see down here on the floor, but I have a whole bunch of new plants that I need to show you guys. So we'll, there will be a plant haul video as well. All right, thank you so much for sticking with me through this. There was a lot to do, but I'm actually feeling a lot more comfortable and more focused on what I need to do. And I'm very excited to do all of this. I'm excited to play with plants. I'm excited to get them prepared for spring. I'm excited to kind of clean up my zone and just make it a better, more enjoyable place to be and to share that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.